What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dugat, coming at y'all with another episode <clears throat> of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Dugat. <laughs> and tonight I'm going to talk about um, today's big news. The LSU Tigers have hired Murray State's basketball coach, Mac McHannon. I'm probably saying it wrong. I apologize. The head coach from Murray State to be the new men's basketball coach at LSU. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at you, boy. Also, if you're a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Um, Mac McHannon, um, look, I must say, considering all of the circumstances around this program, with everything going on, I honestly feel like this is probably the best hire that Scott Woodward could have had. Um, look, the guy's a good coach. Like, he's somebody who's been looked at for a while. Um, he's young, 43 years old, um, been at Murray State. Head coach for seven years, was an assistant for four years before that. Um, and has had a lot of success over there. Got a record of, I think, is 154 and 37 or something like that. Um, been in the NCAA tournament three times. And I, I, uh, with everybody, he was ranked in the top 25 this season. And what everybody, of course, is going to really know him for is he helped develop Ja Morant to become the number two pick in the draft and an all-NBA player in the NBA already. Um, so he has a really solid resume. Um, seemed like he came down to us in South Carolina, and he chose us. So I'm um, really excited about that. Um, and look, like I said, it is good because it's a sign that he really want to be here. We all know the elephant in the room. This basketball program is going to get hit with sanctions. Um, it's going to probably get a one, maybe a two-year postseason ban. So it's hard for you to go out there and get a big-time coach to come into this program considering those circumstances, especially considering there's going to be kids who's not going to want to come play. The, the, the big four- and five-star players are not going to want to play at LSU knowing that they can't play in the NCAA tournament or something like that. And for, um, for him to still take this job, considering all that, it lets me know that he really has a vision for this program. Um, he really has a vision for himself. So, um, you know, it, it gets me excited when I think about it in that standpoint. Um, and like I said, LSU, whenever it's clear, it, everything is clear, it's a, it's a decent a basketball job. It's not quite, of course, football, baseball, but... It's a decent job. Um, we have really good players come through here. We got players who is currently playing in the NBA right now come through here. Um, and we've had some success. So um, for him to take this job, man, um, you know, it's pretty cool. And I think he's a good, young, energetic coach. Now, uh, as far as a recruiting standpoint, we're going to see. You always worry about recruiting when you get somebody who's not really too familiar with the area like that. Though, he's from South Carolina, which is technically the South. Um, but, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing him get the work and getting these bad days ahead out of the way so we could get back to real LSU basketball. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have LSU, NCAA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.